And now from the desk of the superintendent's office, it's time for Super News. Welcome to this special edition of Super News, where we will meet a dynamic dozen of outstanding educators who truly represent all that is good in our public schools. It's time for our Teachers of the Year, the Super News Special, coming your way now. I hope that my peers see that I love my students. Um, from the moment they walk in my classroom, they're mine and I tell them so. Um, I will help them no matter what I need to do throughout the year. I like watching a student that walks in that doesn't know anything but maybe a few of their letters and at the end of the year they're reading. You know, they know how to do math problems, I mean adding and subtracting, you know. So it's just watch, it's great to watch their little faces light up when they learn something new. By the time they leave me I'm hoping that they become better individuals in their mathematical skills and I'm hoping that they take those skills and apply them to middle school and wherever their future or careers may take them. I try to instill a lot of independence in my students and take ownership of their learning and their journey in education because I know that um, if they do that early on then that will help them be successful when they're really required to be more independent and it really is up to them to take more initiative and to um, be more motivated on their own. Building relationships is super important because your classroom environment will not be a positive place for that kid to learn if you don't show that positive love for them. I love the opportunities our students have, whether it be going to Docville for Ag Magic or going to the Moomis Center to do science labs. That This parish just really gives teachers everything they need to be prepared so we can focus our time on scaffolding for students and differentiating instruction so we can make sure every kid's meeting their academic goals. I think at the end of the day I want kids to feel successful and so that looks different for every student that you teach. You know, not every kid's going to make straight A's. Sometimes making a C is serious growth for them if last year they were making an F. And so letting them feel like whatever victories they have should be celebrated and are worthy to be celebrated and that I'm proud of them is my biggest thing. I want them to feel like hey, I accomplished something, I'm proud of myself, and because of that, I feel like I can do anything else or do so much more. My main goal with my students is giving them um, the life skills necessary to be successful after high school. Um, you know, I obviously learning, academic learning is very important, um, but for students, especially students who have been in the alternative school for multiple years, uh, my main focus is really learning how to deal with frustrations and deal with um, when things don't go their way, how to how to make the best out of a bad situation. My relationships with the students. I mean, bottom line, like I think that that's what makes uh, me me effective is that whether you know it's to get learning done or to get like behavior modification or. Uh, students to grow either intellectually or emotionally they have to have a relationship they have to have a buy-in with you and I genuinely work on having that with my kids I graduated from Shelman High I have always been a person that loves learning um, I had high ACT scores and I took all the AP classes and so going into college I definitely had that mentality of like I can do more than teach I'm gonna go be a doctor and so that was my major when I went to college I was a biology major um, my first semester I was taking all the sciences and some math and I had to pick an elective so I took an education course as an elective and the only one that stuck for me was that education class and I was like you know this just feels like it's what I was destined to do. So I've always wanted to work with kids. I worked in the service industry first and then I worked in um, banking and I never really loved what I did and my grandmother was a teacher. She would always tell me stories about how wonderful it was for her and then my husband is an assistant principal at St. Bernard Middle and before that he taught at Shelmet High and those kids adored him and I wanted to be that for someone else. When I turned 30, my kids were both in elementary school at that time and I realized I wanted to do more for them and set a better example. And I wanted my daughter, mostly, <laughs> I wanted my daughter to see 
something better than that. So I decided to go back and that was important to me. And it was it was hard, it was difficult, it was a lot. Um, it was overwhelming with two kids and working full time. But I did it and I did it with honors and uh, finished University of New Orleans with honors. And, and I know like she looks at that and she appreciates what I did. By the time I got my degree in history, I decided that I think teaching is something that I want to give a shot. I have family members that teach, it's something that was always in the back of my head. Um, I got my start at adult education at Nunez Community College, and from there, I kind of just fell in love with teaching. And um, after about six years there, I decided I wanted to dip my toes into a K through 12 classroom, and I was lucky enough to be offered a position to teach eighth, eighth grade students at um, Andrew Jackson, and it's been great ever since. When I student taught at Araby, I was with Kayla Serene. She was my mentor teacher. And when I walked into the doors at Araby, I knew right away that that would be my family. And to this day, it just never stops. Everybody, whether it's the teachers, my administrators, my, um, the custodians, the cafeteria workers, I love every single one of them. And I love that we're able to all work together to make the school a fun place to be. I didn't grow up in St. Bernard Parish. I grew up in Arlene's Parish, but I moved here 17 years ago. And the first thing I recognized about St. Bernard Parish is how close everyone is. Everyone knows if they don't know you, they know your mom, they, <laughs> they know your kids, they know your grandma. Um, so it's just a very family, focused community and I think that's really important and and a lot of focus on the kids here whether it's within like events with the school or the games at the ballpark everybody's since everything centers around the children and I love that first and foremost love being able to teach in the community where I live and where I grew up and where my kids are in school um, that's been really special because I feel like it just um, it fits so being able to see my students out at the ballpark and um, you know around just on the weekends that's really um, it brings me a lot of joy because it, it feels like you know I'm really further ingrained in my own community and I'm um, you know building those relationships with my students. My students are so diverse um, in a room of 20 something kids it's crazy how they're all over um, personality wise ability wise and so um, I've really enjoyed making connections and really um, building trust with them. From being a student at St. Bernard to now teaching at St. Bernard, there's been so many changes in these past 20 years. It's, it really brings me joy to see students of all levels, of all races, of all everything, working day in and day out, you know, without even thinking that this is anything. This is their normal lives and it's just I love the fact that such collaboration happens on a daily basis between such a diverse student population. It really brings me joy. I myself, I am Palestinian American, and I love the fact that I'm able to share my knowledge of the world with everybody and inspire the kids to love themselves, be themselves, and continue to um, build that confidence in themselves. Because I myself, I wasn't really a confident person in who I was. But as I got older, I, was, I started to love who I am. And I want to instill that in the kids. And being a part of the diversity committee and multicultural night, I'm able to show everybody different cultures and different languages and get them outside of things that they'd probably never learned about. If I were talking to a first year teacher, trying to navigate that terrifying <laughs> first year of teaching where you don't feel like you don't know what you're doing, um, I would tell them it's going to be okay. You are probably doing great. And even though it feels like you're drowning, because who doesn't their first year of teaching, um, you are there for the students and you're showing up every day and that's what matters. And the best way to become a better teacher is just to keep going. Be flexible. That's the main thing. Be flexible. Don't go in with this preconceived notion that you are going to teach one way and it's going to always be that way and it's going to always be the exact same teaching style that you have. You have to be willing to change each year, change with each student. You have to be the most flexible person there is on the face of the earth. <laughs> I would tell them to stick with it. I would tell them that I know it's a lot for them to deal with, um, to take in at their first year, but as they continue it will become easier and they will enjoy. 
teaching kids. By being a presence like in their lives, not just in the hour and a half they're in my classroom. Like it's not just academic, it's like we are a part of each other's lives and we're here to like grow together. Develop the relationships, stand up for what you think is right. If there's something that you feel like isn't happening that should be happening for students, maybe you say something that doesn't change, but at least you said something. Because that's ultimately you're there for the students. And so you have to be an advocate for them. Um, and also just take a breath. It can get very overwhelming sometimes where you're like, I don't even know how to keep going. But it gets better and it's so worth it. I knew I wanted to teach in St. Bernard. The, the school board, the school facilities, just everything in St. Bernard is so meaningful to my heart. Being a teacher in St. Bernard's wonderful because, like I said, it's so family oriented. Um, I am at Lacoste. I actually was a Lacoste student myself way back when. And um, so I basically feel like I'm where I belong. I'm back as a bulldog. There you go. And I'm leaving as a bulldog. <laughs> I had a few very good teachers uh, in high school that fostered in me uh, a love for learning. Um, and not just academic learning, but you know, you learn every single day of your life, right? The, the day you stop learning is the day that you die. So I wanted to, you know, give that to my students when I teach them. School was always an important place for me. It was a place I felt accepted. It was a place I, place I felt valued. It was a place I felt that I was able to grow both academically and socially and uh, personally and uh, that was because of the people in that building. The building I now work at and that's the biggest honor for me. The fact that like you know there's some of the people are still there like Wayne Warner and Miss, and Miss Munt uh, who model every day what it means to like really sincerely care about kids. I not only saw that uh, as a teenager myself, I now see it as a fellow educator and it still inspires me. And it's like, man, if I can be one tenth of what they are, I've really done a darn good job. Congratulations to these amazing teachers and kudos to our three parish wide winners for this year. We thank you for sharing your time and talents with our school community. That's it for today, and we'll see you in 2022 for our next Super News where we always let the, the Super, Super News Rolls!